Are we actually live? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Hello, everyone. Am I on camera? <laughs> Good thing Grugi didn't say anything embarrassing. I say always something embarrassing. <laughs> but uh, I see we're we're returning back into uh, war. Uh, a, pro a proper, actual player, non-phony war. Yeah, and it does seem like Serbia got most out of the whole thing with uh, Byzantium from yesterday. Mm-hmm. That's the... And we have the Papal States all over. All right. But who are actually fighting this war? This is... Oh, everybody. Except for oh. Russia. Oh, so it's no, essentially... Nor Norway's the not The Central in. Powers versus the border <laughs> mm -hmm. of Europe. Uh, Brit Brittany was in very briefly. Hmm. Yeah, so they've stayed in Europe. Uh, and they seem to be at the stalemate now over this 114 Frioli. Uh, and Milan is just waiting. Like, what are their actual... Corfu. The, the main goal is Corfu, I believe, on one of them. Oh, and then Prussia joined in in their own separate war. Yes, yeah, it's a separate war. Hmm. I think we've I think we've officially gotten into a stalemate. Are there any other um, theaters that are moving anywhere? Uh, Georgia was fighting for a while. Okay, yeah, he just took that one. I was wondering if he would dare to be without the cannon pips in this kind of era, but yeah, he took it. It does seem like the Dutch are trying to move around. Uh, there were there were some. Uh, Hanover troops over here before, but they don't seem to have actually done anything. Can we get a view of uh, Georgia? See what's going on over there? I don't think there's been... Oh, oh. no, there's... Yeah, yeah. There is some movement in Georgia. Yeah, so Georgia... I mean, for Georgia, it's kind of bad. Unless, yeah, but they're going to get help from the Khan, but they are sort of isolated, so Karaman can pretty much focus on them. Ooh, there's, I don't they've know. lost their first run of mountain forts, but they've got their backup fort, so it's not yeah. that bad. But I don't know if the Dakani will be enough. Let's actually have a... Let's have a look at quality. Uh, it's going to take a while for the Dakani to get there. Army quality comparison, so we go, like, by discipline. Georgia do have a pretty good uh, discipline, actually. Dakani is really far down. <laughs> I do not even see Karaman here. I'm kind of disappointed. Didn't they promise to turn blue? Karaman's military is terrible. Yeah. The last so they, time I looked, their morale was for something. Yeah, so unless Karaman has, like, infinite amount of manpower, which they do not. Uh, How is maximum, their maximum oh, manpower maximum only 68, is only 68? How is that possible? With all of this land, how? And, like, the first time... Is it time... all, like, super high autonomy or something? Uh, what ideas? What ideas has Carmen taken? Sixty-eight thousand. No, that's no, path pathetically how? low. Religious. I mean, and they have quantity ideas. What am I missing? I mean, they truly are the sick man of Europe at this point. Jesus, extremely sick man of Europe. They should. I'm, I'm being told be that Georgia to scorched the hell out of their land. Oh! Scorched earth all the way to Constantinople oh, and it, back. Is it, is it like the devastation all over the place? Is that like economic? That, that, that tracks. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. We have a lot of devastation over here. No prosperity. Well, but I Milan mean, good move by Georgia. <laughs> good move Ooh. by Georgia, because what happened was Georgia marched all the way across Anatolia and then got driven all the way back to Georgia. And on the way back, they just burned everything. Yeah, that's excellent. That that yeah, that's some that's that a good maneuver right there. Yeah, because like uh, Milan still has a lot of prosperity because this is like their important part of their land, right? So they're still pretty damn good. And people want to see what's going on in Georgia because there's literally nothing happening over yeah, here. No. But there is things happening in Georgia. Yes, just in do... time. We have elephants fighting in the uh, Caucasian mountains. And it does seem like Jerusalem won ah. that. Uh, Jerusalem and Karaman won that battle. Uh, so it might actually Beautiful. become that Karaman does manage to push the Georgians back, even though they have. Not I am much rooting left. for Georgia just because Georgia has been my favorite through this. Ooh, so it's but sad to see that. Yeah. Jerusalem. Oh, Jerusalem might be going a body. Like. Oh yeah, we we've we established that a long time ago. Oh but they, wow. 
they bungled the Abadi switch the first time around. This is the second uh, time they're trying. Nice, they're actually gonna go for it. That is very interesting. I mean... I don't think they're gonna get there. there. That's not a lot of cannons. Don't they have more? Yeah, they have 16 here. Why, why are not, not the 16k here to just get this siege done? I don't know. <laughs> But well, they're only on plus one from cannons right now. Yeah, because they have, but they have 16 k just standing. They're going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, I'm going the wrong way. And here and comes here, here comes another here battle. Comes the, yeah, and here comes the Georgians and the Khan trying to like take this right before because a siege tick has just happened. So if they want to engage, they need to do it now. Uh, looks like. And, and, uh, oh pressure. yeah, they won't have a full backline of cannons. So they're gonna do immense damage on the uh, on Dirty. the side. Hmm? Oh, hold up, let me let me interrupt. A bunch of people just pieced out. Oh, all right. I'll have a look at that after war. Pr Prussia's out. Uh, Norway never was in. Russia was never in. Uh, Gujarat wasn't in. I don't think Hanover did anything. Britain yeah, was out a long time ago. So basically, Wait, Prussia's today. out. Yeah. Just like I said, like this would uh, become an easy win for them because they didn't have like a full yeah. backline of cannons. But Prussia was uh, the one holding the line in northern Italy there. Hmm? So let's see. Oh, and right. uh, the Dutch are only in a in a AI war now. They're not in the player oh. war either. All right. So now they're only at war with Serbia. So what was well, the that deal broke the there? Stalemate. So what was the deal with Prussia and Netherlands to make them peace out? Uh, Milan is about to lose their, uh, their Prussia, Prussia got a little, like, appendix there. Oh! They took the oh, former from Russian, France. For, for, former Austrian capital. Oh! So, that, Prussia ooh, looks like they got hurt. three provinces. Yeah. And they, they drove a little tiny wedge in there. A little tiny baby wedge. Mm. I mean, then, they, like, you know, Vienna, 33, and then you can set oh, set a fort here, set a fort here, or like on one of them, like this one probably, and you just cover all of this. Yeah. And also makes it really hard for them to maneuver. And if so now Serbia is going to get partitioned, it looks like. Yep. It was sad. I was rooting for Karaman. I was rooting for Georgia most of this time. Georgia oh. and Livonian order well, were my you, favorites. It's okay for you to be wrong. I'm just saying. <laughs> Well, so like the whole thing here becomes if they would just have had a full backline of cannons here, they would be able to hold that battle long enough for reinforcements to come in. Uh, but since they only had 4k cannons, all the most of their front line just took an unnecessary amount of damage, plus the siege took way longer than it should have, which gave them ample <laughs> opportunity to regroup and just come and smash them away. And now they are running tail. Which yep. gives the Georgians and the Indians. Uh, uh, is there of is that is that a bunch of Russians I see? Yes. And why are they sieging down the body? Uh, I can only assume they're screwing with Jerusalem. Yeah, this feels like they're actively screwing with Jerusalem. <laughs> that is that is a real big move. Oh man, I love it. Oh, and they, they would. I think they would convert them at this point. Oh my god, I love it. So much for a body Jerusalem. Church. There we there go. go. Religion. Yeah, a body is more than 56 is 56%, right? So it would convert them at this point. Oh. Oh, uh, why why don't we get back to the actual war though? There's still like eight people fighting. <laughs> we can stop laughing at Jerusalem and Russia <laughs> and get back to the old mega death. Mm. Oh, that makes me so happy. Serbia is very, like, holding the line, but they are taking a lot of losses. Uh, Enough right look, now. They, they got a we, good... We got Gujarat who wants to come and have words. In the shock phase, they can actually defend themselves, but in the fire phase, they're getting slaughtered. Oh. Yeah, you can uh, go ahead and bring in uh, Gujarat whenever they're ready. Who, yeah. what was, who was Gujarat before? Was that Byz Byzantium? Uh, no, Gujarat was uh, Crimea. Crimea. Yeah, that was Crimea. And it, no, nope, they 6, got reinforcement dead in. per tick. Oh, yep. oh yeah, man. this does not look good for Serbia. 
Drew some Especially Carmen they're being Ruthenia attacked from two still. sides right now as well. What is Ruthenia doing through this? Uh, if there's one army there. Oh, that is a lot of troops on the Ruthenian Russian border. I'm I'm sure that there, it's it's just war games. It's just. I mean, they do have a lot of claims. That's true. I mean, it is Russia. And there is a lot of. Oh, it might just be that the Russian troops. Like, oh, he just on, wants Russia, to be on both on sides. Please, Russia. Please. So, like, that would be quite a maneuver to do. Though it's going to be hard to control that. No, he is actually screwing over him over because he was moving there. Anyway, let's go back here. I got to say, see... I have done that in a multiplayer game before. Is like, you know, at requested access to walk through someone's land uh, on false pretenses just to screw <laughs> up their conversion. So I, I, I identify with that. But I don't see any way for them to recover from this. Uh, they've lost two million troops on... And th that's with... That's not counting the people oh. who've pieced out already. Yeah. Hello, Hello Gujarat. Gujarat. Uh, tell tell us how you feel about the world burning around you while you just collect from trade. Well, first of all, I want to announce that we are no longer Gujarat. Oh, did you... Oh! <laughs> oh, you just <laughs> Beautiful! <laughs> I literally looked yeah. at Gujarat. There was a Gujarat. Looked away, and you said, "There's no yeah, Gujarat." Yeah, it just happened. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we are feeling very comfortable over here with not having our world burn. <laughs> You're one of the few who isn't being absolutely devastated right now. I mean, yeah, you do uh, have the decision saving the burning world. <laughs> It's apt. But uh, our our eyes, as the whole campaign, are still focused east, not west. Mm -hmm. we so you're perfectly happy just to let the heathens off. kill each other. Yes, and we have the nice little subject of Guj looking to cross uh, across those uh, mountainous uh -huh. regions. I think we lost the Florida man. <laughs> anyway, uh -huh. yes. So what what are you planning to do with Guj? So, uh, we are thinking about expanding them across the uh, desert of uh, the Himalayans. So, mm -hmm. going China from the back to China right. from the back, basically. I mean, it's not the best land over here, but it's not land nonetheless. Do you have a deal with the Khan where the line draw is drawn in India? Uh, yes, uh, basically where we are right now. Oh, he's back, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah looks like he's uh, back. So basically, uh, the southern parts of Delhi that you can still see is likely going to the Khan, and the mm -hmm. northern part of Delhi are going to us. As long as you keep nice borders, that's all I ask you. Or ask of you. Yes, yeah, so we are, we are terribly sorry we okay, have to do sorry. this border core, but we really wanted to change the nation, and we needed that one province in the, on the other side. All right. Uh, but I heard from Karaman that they might be in... Did they ever contact you about turning Sikh themselves? No, absolutely not. They didn't ask us. We we would have loved to. We offered anyone to take a province for a while, become sick, and give it back. We would have done that for anyone, even the Pope. They didn't want to. <laughs> I, I, Pope. I feel yes. betrayed. I feel actually betrayed. They lied to me. <laughs> Uh, absolutely. Uh, see, not they, they weren't even asking if uh, we could make a deal because they could reach us, but no, no. Yeah, they even had they even have a port in the Persian Gulf. Could I have yeah, just exactly. given that to you for a while? Indeed, we would have, or uh, vice versa. Mm -hmm. Either way works because we like spreading the Sikh faith. We have the Sikhest puns after all. <laughs> You're welcome, Groovy. Oh, I hate puns. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome. We, we haven't taken a, a look at the player war in a few minutes here. Why don't we uh, scroll on back and see who's dying? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Gujarat. Uh, well, I mean, right, Putana? <laughs> Absolutely. <Yeah. laughs> Thank you. Bye. All right. So let's see. Uh, what is actually going on? Uh, well, we've got Milanese deep inside Serbia now. Yes, they... I mean, they're going through their first and second defense. There's not much we... Like, France is not even committing their entire yep, army. Nope. They're still just walking around with no Why? morale. Where are they walking, actually? I have no idea. To the Netherlands, apparently. Just to be safe? Do they think the Netherlands are going to attack them? Or... Maybe they're going to attack the Netherlands. 
Hmm? Oh, we got a big we battle. We have a battle. A battle is of desperation. Or is that uh, forest, forest, forest? Forest, forest. It's just a minus uh, one. Oh, the morale of Jerusalem is so much lower. Yeah, the Milanese army is pretty good right now. Yeah. I mean, I guess long live the Republic and the Captain Defender, right? There's plenty of troops to filter into the meat grinder, though. So many saying Russia. Has Russia joined? Russia's in on something, yeah. What? Did, wait, did Russia... Who did Russia uh, declare yeah, war on? They are... They are... On the Fighting side of Jerusalem. Side, yeah, on the side of Jerusalem. All right, so now where are all the Russian troops going? Oh, there's some Russians yeah, right yeah, there. There are some Russian troops. Here they come. The meat grinder. I mean, if that's something the Russians are good at. As is be... tradition. Oh, yeah. No, I was hovering over their actual regiments. They were in the battle from the start. Oh, so, yeah. beautiful. Look at those numbers. All right, here come the rest of the Milanese. And, and Russia has a little bit more and than Ruthenia. half a million. Oh, no, less than half a million. Oh, I love it. So now it just boils down to who can keep in this fight the longest and coordinate. Who can keep because the front line packed with meat the longest. That's not a lot of reserves. But, oh, we have way too many reserves just hanging back and taking morale damage mm -hmm. here. Should be pulling in more troops at around 50. Uh, there came a little bit more troops. It's trying to keep the, the solid going. negative one roll they just had. Oh, the zero! You hate to see it. It's always I always get a dice roll of zero that when I least need it. It I always annoyed. Like. It has always annoyed me that you could roll a zero on a die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's called a Swedish die. We oh, have, okay. It goes, it's, up, it goes from zero to six. So, so, so when I come to Sweden and and I play D and D with anybody, I'm gonna have to remember there's an extra side on all the dice. Yes. Yes. You know we have. Right, so my weapon and does two D seven. Oh, I rolled two zeros, but I, I missed. <laughs> but it does feel like the Milanese. Yeah. So if as long as the Pope managed to get here, they might. No, the Russians. There's so many Russians. There's always more Russians. Oh, well, of course. The, the question, though he's not force marching, if but need to, uh, is is it going to get there oh in time? Oh, no, there no, goes. Uh, oh, no. Be a force oh, no. Marching. Oh, no. Those last few yeah. troops are still locked in. Yeah. He should have been force marching. So, and I, there, told and there go the Russians. Competitive players. I'm kind of disappointed that Russian, play, that Russian players were not force marching when it was so tight. And there they go. And blup. So that w that was what sixty thousand Russians that just disappeared. Yep. And we've got, and that fort is going to fall soon. Yeah. I oh, mean, disease. That, that, <laughs> yeah, and that was too bad. My mouth. It was two ticks. They just instantly oh. got there. Oh man, that fort's gonna fall soon. Nat one. Oh, and they're pulling out cannon. No, they're not. Why did the siege thing go down? It That's was what I get before, for right? opening my mouth. We're not going to show the English Channel uh, while the Russians just joined into this battle. And we do where, have... Where did the rest of the Russians go? Weren't there 100,000 in Jerusalem? Or they just marched through? Yeah, they, they, I think they, they all marched, marched up here. That was probably okay. the ones we saw marching up here. We have some vassal there. We still have the Dakani and Georgians by the France border here. still has done nothing. I mean, it's although done although right? there, there's technically some French occupied territory right there. Oh, they're mm -hmm. sieging now. I guess that's Russia, I, guess, I guess that's a thing. It feels like George has done a lot because there's so much back and forth over there, and it feels like France hasn't done a lot because they've just been training over in France for a while. I mean, I would say Georgia has been doing a lot still by just like making them divert their resources yeah. and fighting that two front war. If just Georgia was existing. alone without the Khan, it would have been like really bad. But now they, I mean, they are a little bit out of risk because it's both Russia and Ruthenia. But it does look they're trying oh. to walk around and uh, oh, and that morale does not look good for uh, from. Did they? Well, I, 
What I would do, I would stay on Force March uh, all the time now because with the latest patch, it, you still reinforce your morale as long as you're standing still. It only applies yeah. the no morale recovery while you're moving. And there's that three star general coming in. So, because here, like while having so low morale, I would want to be ready to just move away. Are they not going to take advantage of that? Oh, oh no, no, you're going too France early. France is pulling out. No, you're going too early. You were, you could have waited one tick. You could have waited one tick just for and this. You might have gotten chance. it. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. I oh maybe oh maybe uh, I'm oh, I guess that okay. He was okay, probably France, told you by you. he was probably told by one of his teammates, uh, one of the, the other ones in the alliance. Hey, pull back. We need to be sure that we can defeat. There's a Russians, horde of right? Russians coming. Yeah, exactly. He's got some minor battles over uh, here and there. It looks like they're squaring up for another uh, another big one, but nobody wants to commit first. We do have the Papal States moving in front. Do he have the ba Battle Pope um, reform? I don't know. There we go. Yeah, he does. Land Leader Fire battle plus pope. one. Okay. So do, does he actually have his Pope out fighting? No, he does not. <laughs> I would like it's it's always nice to see the Pope on the front lines. Yeah. He still has a lot of army tradition too, so he can burn from it. This can go Please. on for a lot longer. It's shameful. Taking the battle pope maybe I should do it. So taking that uh reform forces, forces you to... the Pope to fight. Yeah. Yes. The Pope has to be on the front lines. The Pope demands oh, oh, blood. Oh, the, the, the Pope is isolating himself here. That is really bold. And there's no general. Oh, they, oh there was no general yeah, in that there, army. There's no general, and he can't assign a general right now. You need a force march. No, what are you doing? You What's going on? Force Get him! Force. Get him! Yes! Yes! Oh, no! Damn oh, it! Russia should have committed there. Oh, come on! The Pope is so screwed there. I wanted to see that papal army get absolutely wrecked by the Russians. Because that is also a three-star general just coming and swooping it. A three-star general could have ended that battle really quickly. All right, France, France is on the fort again. Is that a level four fort or a level two? It's got to be a level four fort, right? Ooh. What France is sitting on. Oh, that is in hills. I don't think you want to take this battle, Russia. I, I think. Oh, is, committing is to the wrong battle here. He's committing. Oh, yeah. but it's oh. too late. Oh no! And the reinforcements are stuck. They're locked. Oh, yeah, just sit there, stack wipe some more Russians. Yep. Oh, Ooh. the it's Milanese the time morale we're... is hard to beat. <laughs> It's not the first time Russia's been stack wiped because uh, their reinforcements arrived late. There's always more uh, Russian men to find, though. Uh, they can when magically did this war appear. Start. Uh, you want to check for the check what the start date on this was, Grugi? Uh, uh, Thirty-four. 34. So Oof. more than ten years ago. It's been going. It's been going for a while. I mean, the Pope has tapped out on his manpower. Yeah, but he's got like eighty. Um, military tradition, so he could slack and. Oh, you mean that professionalism? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. Eighty-seven. Uh, Eighty-seven. He could slack it I mean, for a while. What for he a could, few hundred what he could do is just have an army at home that is constantly drilling and just. No. It doesn't give much, but it gives a little bit to just keep you going a little bit. Yeah. Where are the winged hussars? Poland's dead. Didn't Russia. someone form Poland? Uh, but no. Poland's been gone for a bit now. Did Russia commit and, that many troops right at the start and not reserve them in? Yep. And uh, Milan did, did try to keep the Ruthenians occupied so they couldn't reinforce. Uh, I would try and do that again, but I think it's too late now. I, I, I think I think Russia committed a little too hard, a little too early yeah. on that one. But the Ruthenians is coming in to save them. Uh, there's we have Fra coming France in. is doing some something. French. They are occupying the, like, you know, making sure Jerusalem can join into the battle. And here comes more Milanese supermen. Oh, what, I, don't, what, I don't see this going well for the Russians. What would be Space Marine in Italian? Do anyone in chat knows? Oh. Space Marino. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Just, just... Oh, no, I've, I've got the hand gesture, right? Space so much. Yeah. There you go. Lorenzo is going to kill me when we meet each other. I, I, I feel like that was not a good, that, that battle was not a good move right there. That was a lot Spaghetti of unnecessary specialists. casualties. <laughs> Space uh. Marinara, there you go. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, what's happening? Oh. In, what's happening at Constantinople? They're chasing them down. And they're going to get caught. Oh, maybe yes. it's just... Oh, it's just the 11, though. It's not the whole stack. Nope. Now, do they... Are they going to remember that there's two crossings they need to guard? We'll see. I uh, Probably. That would be... Uh, but, but there's no do, fourth do. tier. There's only a fourth yeah. tier. So, if they're quick enough, they could go over and just try and take the fort while these people are trying to reinforce. What is the manpower of uh, the Russians? They... They it's haven't even lot. scratched it. Nope. Uh, and where's their professionalism? The but they do not have that a lot, actually. Eh, what is it? It's 5% per, right? Yep. Uh, they don't regain manpower when disbanding, so they can't do the little Streltsy stats. Uh, strat. Uh, oh, Georgia wait, no, is still that holding actually... strong. Uh, it looks like damage. Deccan and Georgia are actually moving into Jerusalem now. Oh no, Jer where's Jerusalem's troops are trying to get back to the homeland. They're trying to fall back to defend themselves. And we do have a naval battle. I think the Milanese are trying to take control here. 118 uh, galleys. Mm -hmm. Oh, the papal sides, 20 of their ships. Oh, they're winning though. 20 of their ships are transports, but they won handily. Uh, they... All right, so yeah, they are moving in here in order to take control over the sea. All this death, all this death in the war score is still less than 10. Oh boy. This, I I, 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 I was here for three hours this morning watching phony war after phony war after phony war. This makes me happy. Have Nepal joined the war? Is there- I've had so much caffeine. Oh wait, there's a player, is I that a player? Wow. Oh. When, yeah. when did that happen? Uh, Bengal went Nepal. Uh, Nepal is fighting the Khan and Georgia, it seems. Yeah, so they have joined on Jerusalem's side. Now, are they actually doing something, though? Uh, That's the real look, question. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Because I see not very many generals, not a whole nope. lot of troops, and no movement. No, I don't see much. Maybe it's like a maybe it's a situation where you know, it's like the Irish are are standing in the back just rooting everybody. Oh, what just happened? What did you miss? Did Ser wasn't Serbia occupied? Oh yeah. Oh no no, no. I was in the player. Map. Oh right. Oh. You, did you, you? No. Oh, oh no. Just, so they peaced out. So I was saying something happened. What did it take? Did it take uh, some the coastline? Coast? Yeah, some coastline. Looks, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like the coastline. So Serbia's out, Jerusalem and Karaman are now fighting for themselves. What? Serbia and, and Karaman are both, I feel like at this point they're both failed states because Serbia yeah. did not have enough economy to support their army no. before, and now they're losing coastline in the Ragusa yeah. trade node. And we see the war Just goal is about worse. to be sieged down. So we all, are all gonna start to see uh, this to start ticking for the other side. Millions That's why it's been staying like not even past ten percent because the losing side has been holding control over the war. Goal. So there are currently five million casualties, only only counting the people who are still in the war. That's God not damn. counting the people who have pieced out already, and the other war that there was. This has made me so happy. Nepalese troops can be very, very good, but they are performing. Oh, sack wipe. Never mind. Very yep. poorly.